Finally, I rent a boat because they need to sail. It's not the sea, but it's the lake. Normally, it's 25 to 30 knots of wind here. And uh, start in a, in a while, but I'm ready to go. At the moment, I am sailing with uh, very, very few winds. <laughs> Where is Alessandra? There are some very easy way to cut the tick plug, but I prefer to use the sand machine because I get a better result. This is at the beginning, after that I will use sandpaper. guys I finished and now my cheek and rail are completely finished you will see you can see all the plugs I use the same direction of the vein of the wood so it's difficult to to recognize it's completely flat and the job is done I like my grab hand rail completely sand all around. And this is the port side, the same, very, very flat. You have a difficult to, to notice the thick plug and the work is uh, well done like this. This is the standard I like it. And finish with this one. Thanks a lot to my friend Piero that helped me in this task. Without him, nothing will be possible. Our day today to fix the frames, me and Piero. After checking, we decided to put um, in the middle of the frame another screw to take fix the frame. If I did for myself, probably make a lot of mistake. Piero doesn't do mistake. And here we are, we are drilling just in the middle of the frame. Uh, we'll cover the crew 
uh, with a sunshade that I will install just inside the frame. First, perfect. Okay, we go to Piero and the top to see what's happening. We prepare the the oars. After install the first frame, in the second and third frame, we prefer to drill uh, uh, not in place. Piero is countersink all the oars. Now I check the screw is fit perfect to the hole or if I need to countersink more. And now we move in the bow cabin and we start to install the second hatch. Piero is checking all the correct position and fix. A very delicate task that you need to pay a lot of attention. I prefer Piero do it because he's very master. It's time to fix the frame with the screws. You can see the gap is normal but I will fill up with the sealant and after that I will paint it to get a perfect and nice result. Okay, job done, the second frame is installed and now we move in the head where there is the last one to install. Yes, I can really say that the frame are probably the most difficult task I did, but at the end the job is done and I'm very happy. Okay, and now the frame are installed and now I test if the hatch touch the mahogany frames but they fit very well and now we move in the next task uh, uh, filling the gap with uh, sealant and after that painting. I wait three months to finish this task and now I'm very happy. Finally, I finish. Okay, this is another boring task. Prepare everything to fill up the gate. I need to use the tape to avoid to ruin my mahogany frame and make it dirty all around. So using the tape is the first thing you must do before using any type of cement. My idea is doesn't use too much sealant because if I need to take out the frame in the future I don't need to destroy all my ceiling and all my headliner so all the things I organize and engineered is 
to avoid damage in the next future. For sure, I did want take out, but you never know what's happen in the future. If you want to make flat your sealant and don't stitch too much your finger, you must use soap and water and all the job will become very smooth and very, very nice. And this is the second frame to do, so patience and very, very slowly you prepare all the stuff. Another task I did with Piero is install the base for the new Batty system lights, the Nova light that I will install soon. Centering on the ceiling is a very important task. You need to be very precise to avoid any problem. Uh, Piero help as usual and make the best. Look my nervous face, hoping all is okay. After three months of waiting, here are the result. I test the light and the looking. Uh, what you think, if you like, leave your comment below, I'm very happy but I think this is fantastic. Those lights help to make illumination of the table inside the net. And those are all the other frames ready to be installed. The four you see just in front of you, they are for the galley and for the chart table. Checking the measure are the best way to avoid the mistake and we check many times that all is aligned and there is no difference from the port side and the starboard side. And the job is done, finish. And we start with the last task, install the first four mahogany stripes on the ceiling or, or headliner uh, that are ready warnish and prepared and Pierre is checking the correct length to cut them and make the border very very smooth. Glorious, glorious sending, always sending. Make the frames and all the stuff take a lot of time, but when you install, you need to pay a lot of attention. You can't make uh, any mistake. If you make any mistake, you ruin all the work you did in the last three months. So pay a lot of attention if you do it. You need to glue this type of stripe. Uh, so when they are glued, you can go back. So I was quite quite nervous. I use a polyurethanic bond, is Bond 300, the brand of the glue, 
and cure in about half an hour so we need to be very fast and very precise when we install the frames when you install these frames you need to pay attention also to the glue you can't make mistake if you spread the glue on the headliner you are f -f 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 -f. you are dead The use of this elastic support are very, very useful. You have a correct pressure in all the length of the stripe. Hi, good morning guys, welcome back, another day at uh, Power Plant. This weekend I have a lot to do, today is Sunday morning, very early in the morning. Inside I need to take out all the stuff that lift the, the mahogany stripes on the roof and we'll see the result. I need to prepare all the border of the mahogany frame because I need to paint the um, sealant and in a couple of days I will install definitely the hatch. So we start just now and enjoy me in another fantastic adventure. Enjoy your holiday. I'm here to work for you to bring this video. Cheers. I use the support to gluing the um, frames of the roof made by mahogany. And now I take out all the support and we check if the work is okay. Yeah, the result, I think I consider it well done. All is completely glued. And job done. There is a mistake here, but it's not depend on myself, but depend on was put all the panel just in the roof of Fellows. You can see, they notice the difference from this angle with this angle. This is more wide than this one. Why? Because they move the panel. I uh, use the same uh, panel original and you notice this difference that was just in the original. I check in the older photos and uh, always there is this small difference but now I can do nothing and I live there. It's nothing special but anybody is never perfect. I've always sucked some small difference in the construction and it's nice like this but i enjoy my work and we need the last two frames before do that i need to put the box of mahogany there and there but i need to install the compass and other things and here we are now you can see the sealant very white and i start to protect the frame with the tape because i need to paint the sealant and give the same color of the of the board all these tasks take me about two hours Here we are, I prepared all the tape and now I need to paint just here to avoid the UV ruin my sealant here and after that the job is finished. Using a small brush and the same color polyurethanic I used to paint the board, I paint all the white line of the sealant.
Okay guys, I finished the paint, clean everything, same color and job done, wait for dry out and after that I will install definitely all the hatch. So we move. Okay guys, I need to drill 3.5 diameter. Now it's time to countersink all the holes to avoid future crack on the gel coat as was when I bought the boat. I don't want to repeat this experience. Guys, I already make the hole 3.5 because I will use the screw 4.2. Those are the screw, 25 millimeters. Stainless steel 316 and this is 25 millimeters. And I make the holes. 3.5 so it take perfectly a countersink because so I know I have no more gel cracking here I will use this type of butyl I already used is Harbo butyl base silic compound all around because if I need to take out my hatch I can do it without throwing everything I already I already paint all is is dry per perfectly dry and we can start we can start to install the the hatch uh, good advice is use some tape to protect the base of the hatch because when you screw the hatch on his base the sealant squeeze out and make a mess Okay, I ready. I ready is tape all around the hatch. I clean everything. And we start with this one. And for sure I will use some teff gel to avoid corrosion from stainless steel and aluminum. And we will see what's happened. Guys, when you install the hatch, you need to join very careful all the instructions that is right on the paper. They ask you that when you install this hatch to tighten the correct sequence of the screws. In this way, you have the correct setup of the hatch. Using the butyl, I completely fill up all the holes because the screw, when installed, make a watertight hole. I use this flexible butyl because I can use the normal butyl because there are no through bolts but only screw bolts. So this type of butyl always give me a lot of satisfaction and I trust a lot in this type of uh, sealant because it's flexible and very watertight. So I use quite a lot because I really don't want more water entering uh, inside the boat. In this case I use the teff gel just around the hole because you know the galvanic corrosion, steel and aluminium is quite dangerous. 
Teff gel is a very good product and um, for sure I don't have a problem in the next future or probably more than next future. Okay guys, all my hatch are installed, definitely no more working on them, only cleaning around the base and job done. Uh, so I can say job done. So guys, thank you for watching. We we'll see you in the next episode. If you, if you like this video, please leave a thumb up. I'm very happy to get your comment. Please write down. If you have any suggestion, always happy to get yours. So thank you for watching. We we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.